Hey there, we are at the day two of the Google I.O. 2017 and right now I have Amrit Sanjeev with me. How's the day been so far? Busy, but a lot of interesting questions. Been manning the sandbox for uh, architecture components and we also have an office hour for battery performance. So a lot of interesting questions from a lot of developers. Now, as you mentioned battery performance, like I'm also a user and I have seen these battery performance issues for so for a developer in India, how can they improve on battery performance? So the number one thing that I would say is go ahead and first measure how much battery is getting consumed by your application. That measurement is really, really important, which gets you a baseline on which you can improve upon. The second thing is wake lock management. A stuck wake lock can actually drain a lot more battery than you think it would. How network operations are managed. Uh, if you can offload it to job dispatcher or uh, the job scheduler, they will manage the job and collate it uh, batch it, things like that will happen and make it much better in terms of battery consumption. And the third one would be in terms of long-running processes. Uh, some of the applications do use a lot of long-running processes in the background and those can be kind of removed and eliminated. So a combination of these things kind of help improve battery. Are there any links where they can go and read all these things that you mentioned? Under the Bill for Billions, we have a section for battery management. Uh, the Battery Historian is an open source project uh, in GitHub. So you should definitely take a look at that and set that up. It takes about five minutes to set it up. You also mentioned about components. So what are they? Are you planning to do something with those? Uh, Google at this I.O. has released a set of components for improving architecture of your app. Uh, it reduces boilerplate code, avoids common mistakes uh, that developers uh, usually have in their application, which leads to kind of degraded performance, uh, more bugs and crashes, uh, leaks in memory. These things can be avoided. So a combination of these components can be used in order to kind of clean up your app, make your app more testable, uh, very important, easy to test. So these, the architecture components allow you to do that. And one thing I really want to call out is all these architecture components are not tightly coupled with each other. So you can mix and match what you want to use and what works best for you. But we're quite interesting inside. So Amrit, what's next? So I'm going to be going ahead and talking to the engineers and the PMs who are behind these components. And we'll get some first-hand information from those guys. Watch out for that.